Hey guys, welcome back to another spending spree. As always, if you end up enjoying it and want to help support the channel, my creator code is clickbait. But that being said, here is spending spree number 37. Alright, we got this new bundle here. This skin is absolutely not my style. The pickaxe is pretty cool though. Then we got Ranger. Um, I guess it just returned after like 1200 days or something like that, so that's pretty cool. Got this music pack here. Alright, we got more Dragon Ball skins. Uh, I still haven't watched Dragon Ball, so I am definitely not familiar with these characters, but I must say, this guy's, you know, this guy's got drip. And then I'm also going to gift both of these bundles to my brother, because he actually is a huge Dragon Ball fan. Coming down here, we got more Kid Leroy stuff, I guess, two emotes. <laughs> Gotta be one of the worst emotes I've ever seen, if I'm being honest. This emote is definitely the winner of the two. I mean, it, it makes you float, and it's it's only 300. Why this non-traversal emote is more V-Bucks than this one that makes you float, I don't know, but this emote is definitely cooler. It's traversal too. I mean, that's, that's something. Yeah, that's actually, you know, pretty cool emote there. And the last thing is I'm gonna give the Kid Leroy to my friend Danny. All right, and then we got a quest pack here. I mean, this is a really, this is a sick skin. There's no other way to put it. A, this is a nice looking skin. Back bling is all right. Uh, not as clean as the skin, but it's there. Wrap is super clean as well. And my goodness, the sword, holy sh This is, wow. Yeah, this is definitely the best quest pack we've gotten yet. I mean, 28 levels and a really good set like this for 1200 V-Bucks. So yeah, that's, that's a really good quest pack. Also gonna gift this to my brother. Then we got some more Marvel stuff. Um, you know, it's Marvel stuff. I, it's it's just at this point, anytime we get new Marvel skins or like Star Wars, it's just like, oh wow. Anyway, yeah. So there's that stuff. Then we got Bonehead. This skin here is actually pretty decent. I like the blue flame effect it has and the outfit itself does look pretty nice. Probably shouldn't be 1500 though. I'd say this is more like a 1200 skin. Oh, the lamp pickaxe. This is um, this is a classic right here. For the price, it's actually a pretty good pickaxe. I mean, it's got lighting effects, some particles. It's even got an effect when you swing it. Overall, I mean, it's it's great for the price. And we got Bendy, which is my favorite skin in the game. Yeah, I love this skin. We got Flakes Power, uh, it's another icon skin of a content creator. I'm not, not familiar, but I am always happy to see more content creators added to Fortnite. Got an emote too. Not bad, not bad. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, 
All right, fellas, we've got a big doozy of a shop today, let me tell you. So, I mean, normally shops are just kind of ass for me, and there's just a few things to buy, but we actually got quite a few skins here that, you know, I, I, I need to buy. So first up, we got Archetype, you know, it's a classic. You know, it's the, the skin that, that Double Helix was reskinned after. And we got the glider for that, which, yeah, by modern day standards, this would be a 800 V-Buck glider, but it is 1200 because it came out a long ass time ago. Yeah, you know, cool glider. It's got a good color scheme. And then we got the pickaxe, which is probably the best part of the set, you know, just really clean and only 500 V-Bucks. Um, pretty solid. Then we've got Swamp Knight, really, really badass skin here. Only 800, 800 for this. So, so you're trying to tell me archetype here is almost double the price of this? But that's just wild. Like if this skin came out back then, it would easily be legendary. But yeah, super great skin here, super great skin. Then I just did another giveaway thing on Twitter, so um, I'm gonna be gifting a few giveaway winners. All right, so the first winner here wants Scarlet Witch. I'm just gonna go ahead and gift the bundle because it's only 300 more. Next winner here wants the Creed bundle. All right, fellas, we got another juicy item shop here. So first off, we got this locker bundle. The only thing I don't have out of it is this glider, which I've, I've actually wanted this glider for a long time. I mean, it's just a jellyfish. What more could you ask for? You know, it reminds me of SpongeBob. And for 200 V-Bucks, absolutely. And then we got this Starlit Archer bundle here. Super cool skin here, you know. Got more galaxy stuff, can never go wrong with that. Pickaxe is really nice. Ooh, and it has edit style. Even better, good stuff. And I'm also gonna gift a few more giveaway winners. First winner here wants to be gifted the Horizon Zero Dawn bundle. And then the Rogue and Gambit bundle. All right, we got a another TikTok emote. I'm excited for this. Really glad to add this to my locker. Then we got these two skins here. Um, I always thought they were, you know, somewhat decent. Not the coolest skins in the game, but definitely usable. I always thought the back blings could have been done a little better though. Then we got the plasma bubble wrap here. All right, I could get the Evil Eye pickaxe for 200 V-Bucks. It's a good deal. It's a decent pickaxe, you know. I don't think I'll use it too much, but definitely nice to have. And then last but not least, we got this wrap here, which is pretty nice. Really nice, actually. And then the final winner from that giveaway I did once, Fate. Okay, we got these new skins here. Um, they're reskins, but they're good reskins, so 
I'll give them that, you know, it's kind of got that Lightning McQueen vibe. And it's for 1800 V-Bucks. Not, not bad. Not bad, I guess. I don't have a problem with reskins if they're done well, and these are done pretty well. And we got this Cosmos wrap here. Um, I actually don't remember this coming out. I, I didn't play a lot last season, so I must have missed it. It's just, it's like a Galaxy V2, I guess. But I like that. It could be, um, could be better in many situations, because it doesn't have the, the, you know, really bright blue on it. Then we got the Kodax here, which is actually really nice. This is a nice pickaxe. Just straight up, you know. It's clean, it's got super cool animations, and on top of that, it makes nice sound effects. 